Hi guys, my name is Hui An. Today I would like to present about how to recover deleted files from Windows, Ubuntu, and your hard disk or USB. For Windows, the software we are going to use today is Recuva. You can download it from Google and it's free. So first thing first, I will start by creating a Word document and type some random character inside. So just to ensure it is safe properly, I'll open it again. Then I'll perform a permanent delete by pressing shift and delete. Now we can start using the, our software Recuva. You can start by clicking on next. Then you can select your file type. It can be a text file, an image or anything else. Next, you can choose the location. So we'll just leave it in C drive and enable deep scan. Deep scan is mostly used for permanent deleted files. And then you'll need to wait for quite some time depend on your PC performance. When it's done, it'll show a list of files that are being deleted. For the green icon, it indicates the file can still be recovered. However, for the orange and red, it means that there are some files have been overwritten by others. So we'll find our Word document that we created just now. And it's here. Now we can select Recover on the bottom right hand side. Then you can choose your location where you want to recover it to. I'll just put it in documents. And here is it. Just click on OK. And yes. Here is the file. Next is file recovery on Ubuntu. For this, we will need to install a software called EXT Undelete. So open your terminal and type sudo apt-get install EXT Undelete. And then you will be prompt for your password. After you enter your password, it will take some time to install the package. So for the time being, we'll just create another documents. For this, I'm going to right click new documents and I'll type something inside. Next, we'll save it and do another permanent delete again. When a permanent delete is done, the file is not being transferred to the trash can. And the installation is also done. So I'll clear the terminal for it to be easier to read. So before we run anything, if you want to read about the user manual about the ext and delete, you can just type ext and delete and press enter. You'll show a list of the option where which one you can use and how to use it. So for this we are going to use restore directory. Now we'll start to run the program. So you tap sudo ext and delete and slash the device slash sda1. For this, you can check it in your disk. You can just go to search and type this. You can see your device at the bottom down there. It shows its device SDA1. You just need to copy this into the terminal. Next, we'll do a restore directory and We'll now need to type the location where we want to restore. 
so it's in desktop now we are going to check the path for desktop and it's home slash ngo slash desktop now just press enter and y So this is what happens when there is an error in your command. For my error is actually the desktop is supposed to be capital D. So this is case sensitive so make sure you type everything correctly. And let's do it again. A recover file folder will be created in your home and you can access it to check your recovered files. So from there, we can open our text file just now. And that's it for the Ubuntu part. Next, we'll move on to the test disk. This is used to recover files from the hard disk or any USB. So I'll start by creating a folder named SMT and I'll put some files inside. Next, I'll do a permanent delete on this folder with shift delete and yes. Now we'll run the program. So make sure it's chosen as run as administrator. If not, the program might not work properly. After that, when you start the program, there will be a message asking you if you want to create a log. Basically, you can just ignore it and choose your hard disk. Next is the partition table type. You can just leave it unchanged. After that, choose at once and the partition of the folder which you want to recover. After that, select the undelete option that is next to list and image creation. Now you can use the column to select the files you want to recover. And if you want to recover everything, you can just select A. To deselect, you just need to go to the highlighted files and select column again. After you're done, just press Shift and C. To copy the files. Now you have to select the destination where the files will be copied to. I'll just place it at the root of my D drive. Now select Shift C again to paste the file you copied just now. After it's done, you can go to the location where you have paste your files and here are the files that you copied just now. And that's all for my presentation. Thank you.